we will uh, go into nuclear chemistry and learn some more ki about kinetics, half-life and radioactive dating. Some of the equations which will be, uh, you'll be using is ln nt over n0 equals minus kt, where nt is the number of radioactive nuclei at time t and n0 is at time 0 and t is the time and k is the rate constant and uh, in the language of nuclear chemistry, this k is also called as the uh, dk constant and uh, t half, the half-life, when half of the radioactive nuclei disintegrate is equal to 0 0.693 divided by k and we have one more equation where the rate is actually directly proportional to the number of nuclei at any time but uh, with the proportionality constant rate becomes equal to uh, k n. We will be using these equations to solve a few uh, problems in nuclear chemistry. Calculate the amount of uh, Cs-134 that will be left after 15 years. Half-life of cesium-134 is given as 2 years and mass of the sample is 4.50 grams. So the equation we will be using is we know the, uh, the nt equals n0 e power minus kt and in this case n0 is given as 4.50 we need to calculate nt. So in order to calculate nt, we need the value of k and k can be obtained from the half-life using the formula t half equals 0 0.693 divided by k and get the value of k, substitute it into the equation and get the value of nt and that uh, comes as 0 0.045 gram. Iodine 131 has a half-life of 8 days. They are asking you the fraction of ID in 131 that will remain in the sample after 42 days. So, the first thing we do is calculate the value of K using the half-life. And once you get the value of K, the equation we will be using is NT equals N0 E per minus KT. Here, since they have just asked the ratio of NT over N0. So, substitute the values of K and T and get the ratio of NT over N0 that comes as 0 0.026. And if you want to express it in terms of fraction, it is 1 over 39. Cobalt 60 has a half-life of 5.30 years. Calculate the time it will take to disintegrate and reach a mass of one-fourth of the original mass. So, as usual, the first step is to calculate the half-life. From the half-life, calculate the value of K. And once you get the value of K, we need to use the equation ln nt over n0 equals minus kt. In that, uh, uh, the value of nt over n0 is 1 over 4 that as given in the question. So, substitute all the values, put in the values of k and get the value of t. The carbon-14 active activity of an ancient ab uh, object was found to be 15 disintegration per minute per gram and the present day activity is 18 dpm per gram. Calculate the age of the ancient object. The half life of carbon 14 is 5730 years. So, we are going to use the same equation and the activity of a radioactive sample is proportional to the number of radioactive nuclei. Therefore, in that equation nt over n0, the old object is nt and the new, the fresh object is n0. Substitute all the values. The half-life is given. From the half-life, uh, the value of k can be obtained. That's what uh, 0 0.693 divided by 5730 is there. And get the value of t. That is the age of the sample. Calculate the molar mass of a 0.165 gram sample of a radioactive isotope that disintegrates at the rate of 2.99 10 to the power of 16 dpm. Half-life is 6.75 years. The equation we will be using is rate equals kn and the rate is given as 2.99 10 to the power of 16 and uh, the value of k can be obtained from the half-life and uh, since uh, disintegration is per, per minute, we convert the value of k in terms of uh, minutes, that's why 24 and uh, 60 is there. So, all the only unknown in that uh, equation is now n. Get the value of n. 
and convert this value this is the nuclei we have and in one uh, number of nuclei we have so convert it into uh, moles by dividing it by avogadro number and once we get the moles of nuclei the mass of the sample is given molar mass can be calculated